one of the mountain tops over there, it's called Mount Nebo, or Nebo. So Moses, remember, he had to stay on the other side, he was not allowed to come in, and he had died on the mountain. Yeah, and he didn't have a passport. <laughs> Jericho is straight ahead, you see? In a moment we will turn left and we'll go straight. So, the biblical city of Jericho, it's not what we see today. Today Jericho is a big city. In biblical times it was the hill, a small hill, and we will see it when not far from where we'll have lunch. We will see the hill where the ancient city used to be. And in the Bible it says that the Israelites came across opposite Jericho. You see, this is exactly opposite. From the Jordan they came across and straight to Jericho. The place where you came across the river Jordan, we think this is also the area called Bet Abara in the Bible, where Jesus was baptized by John. The same area. He was baptized by John the baptizer here in the Jordan River. And the place where he fasted 40 days, 40 nights, this is the area. See, going from the, the river to the mountains, and one of the mountains nearby is called Mount of Temptation. We will look at it later after lunch, the Mount of Temptation. So the same location of the crossing, the same place where Christ was baptized. As you can see around Jericho, there are growing lots of uh, date palms. Dates, yeah, the best dates are from Jericho. Called Majul, Majul. But one of the, remember the names of Jericho, in, in one of the biblical names, it's the city of the palms. Referring to the palm, the date palms. The dates are growing on palm trees. You see them here on the left, on the right, you see more. Yeah, after, after lunch, uh, we can go to the temptation, the Mount of Temptation, and they have a nice place there where you can give you to taste dates and you can, you can even buy, the, buy dates from them. They have nice big packages, very good. he was the servant of Elijah. Remember Elijah? It's another story that you, you all know what had happened on the other side. Elijah went up to heaven with the chariot of fire. And then Elisha came back. It says he came back to Jericho. So this event also took place on the other side. And then Elisha came and he, he came to the spring. And it says, it, it is written that this, the water were not good. They were contaminated. So he took salt. And he put the salt in, he threw the salt into the water, and the water were healed, became they are drinkable again. So the spring that you will see is named after Elisha, still active. <laughs> so the, yeah, so water was not a problem here because of the of the fresh water spring. But today, because the city is much bigger and all all around they are growing a, a lot of trees, so they use underground water. We have a 
actually wells, lots of uh, wells in the valley. So we're now coming to Jericho, which is the Palestinian town. by the old sycamore. Brothers, let's uh, welcome in, uh, in the bus, Brother uh, Robin the Gala. The lost uh, fellowship now is here. <laughs> let's give a big hand to our brother. Welcome. <laughs> Saudi.